Okay, here we are in front of this unconscious woman. And we will wake her up. See what uh, she has to offer. Loot in the body. Maybe we should rethink this. Hey. Uh, are you alright? Man, those curls. I was... I was in a forest, and then... Those earrings! No! Looking for this? <laughs> He's so weird looking. Oh, snap. What was that? Yep, she's human, all right. Yeah. Glad you're okay. He I'm has earrings you. that ma match his sword and hilt. You are? Oh, God. Why don't you come to where I live? So, Ray, are you nuts? I'm bringing her home. Are you sure that wouldn't be a problem? You barely know me. I can't just abandon someone in need. That's all. Haven't you noticed that she won't even volunteer her name? It's only natural to be cautious. Aren't you going to ask my name? Are you sure? Everyone has their reasons. But you don't look like a bad person to me. I cannot possibly thank you enough, Saray. <sighs> Gramps is gonna let us have it when we get back. I know. Yes? Nah, don't worry about it. This is the most unnatural anyway, conversation. Let's get moving. <laughs> Who talks like this? Okay, so now she's with us. As we head down deeper into this temple. We now have a girl in tow. From unconscious to running. I love it. Save. Nothing there. Moving forward. Wait, what? Did I just go in a circle? Am I... Oh. <laughs> I should probably pay attention to the map, huh? What did I find down there? A save? That was it? I don't want to have to remind you, but keep your eyes on the girl. Okay. But too bad we didn't meet in better circumstances. Ugh, you really don't have a skeptical bone in your body. Oh, that was easy. I was expecting Made a boss fight. One piece. Wow, it's beautiful. Like a shrine out of myth. I half expect to see Seraphim wandering around. You really do call them Seraphim. Is that funny to you? Nope. Things which cannot be seen or explained, such as gods, spirits, or supernatural phenomena, are revered by the people as Seraphim. Right? A quote from the Celestial Record? Bingo. You've read it too? Yep. Wait, you as well? I used to read it all the time when I was a kid. It's a little ways from here to my village. Let's get moving. Okay. What was that? Like, hurry up, let's just keep going? So weird. I but sure. Like this is right. Let's see. Now today we managed to find a pink and a Hellions. Meet an Earth Dweller. Did I miss anything? 
so, humans uh, are earth dwellers. Is the celestial record a children's book? Hmm? Well, I mean, you said you read it when you were a kid. Plenty of adults read it too. I was probably just mature for my age. Oh yeah? Huh. Well, uh, what are these? I mean, it is an amazing. This book. will be the death. Yes. Well, it looks like someone's enjoying himself. What? This is my village, Alicia. So it's not Camlon, but a such robust horns, just <laughs> like the dragons of legend. <laughs> what, like in fairy tales? You're something else. Don't go near it. There's no telling how dangerous untamed beasts like those are. Ah, don't worry. We're friends. Oh, well, mostly. They did kick me four or five times when I was little. Your friends? Yep. Sometimes they give me milk, and I make cheese and yogurt with everyone. The mark of true friendship. Yeah, it's the best. A mark of true friendship is milking them and making yogurt. I guess. <laughs> Guys, you're not truly friends with someone until you make yogurt from their milk. Just, you know, things you learn from a Tales game. He was that close to the temple? Walking distance. I'll go report this to Gramps. Guess we can't keep quiet about all this. Like, how, oh, I don't know. I don't you know her situation. Words? Yeah. But did not see all this when she was in the temple. Hey, everyone! Got someone to introduce to you. Oh, they're all a different color. <laughs> what a great village. This is my family living here at the shrine. There's the orange person, there's the green person, there's is the blue this, person. Uh some kind of performance piece? No, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. You're an odd duck, you know that? I guess. That's my house. You go ahead and rest. I've got something to take care of. Doesn't even look May back to it. Look the he village? just points. Well, sure, but don't cause trouble. Of course not. I'll behave as if I were in a shrine to the Seraphim. Yeah, exactly. I'll try not to make any waves. <laughs> oh man. She glides across I the sure floor. Sure, Nicolio's chat with Gramps went over well. <laughs> Love the faces. You get it, don't you? It's a ray. We're invisible humans. Oh, just the fact that you can live alongside us like this makes you pretty special. So they didn't see anything, or she didn't see anything, right? So that's why she was like, "What's wrong with you?" So you were out scouting about those ruins with Mikleo again. Bringing a human girl back with you? You must be the greatest, your greatest find yet. Could that girl be a knight? A knight's purpose is to fight. Are we safe? That's not a stretch. You felt that too, a disturbance in Gramps domain? What? <laughs> a disturbance in Gramps domain. I suppose that's how it would appear to most humans. That probably would have been worth mentioning to her, right? Hey, she can't see us. Since Grant's turned up here with baby Sore and Mikleo. Oh, are they... Maybe they're humans or something, huh? Let's see. Oh, natural and untouched a place. I never imagined such a dwelling still existed. That ruin goes deeper than you anyone imagined. Alright, let's go find our disturbance in Gramps' domain. 
cool looking level. I like the rolling shadows. I couldn't care a jot about a human with no resonance. R resonance? Res res I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't even try. She can't see us and soon enough she'll leave. Aren't I right? Sure. Okay. Can't go into just any house, I guess. I assume this is Gramps. Natural waistcoat. Well, let's put it on. Well, that'll be good, because I have that one thing that increases my chance to stun. Gramps. Or is this my house? Probably. Let's go find Gramps. Wonder how long it's been since I saw a human. Than, other than Soray. So I'm human. Why is she saying my name directly to me? Maybe this is Gramps' house. I saw a terrifying flash of lightning over by the ruins. Were you hurt? No. Was she somehow affected or had something to do with the lightning? <gasps> the mysteries. This is Gramps' house because it says so in the bottom right and there's a little icon in the map. Let's go. And I'll let you hear the rest from Soray himself. I reckon I'll have to. Didn't have any eyes. You idiots! Oh, shoot. Hi, Gramps. I'm back. How could you bring a human into our domain? Easy, Gramps. Didn't you say you'd listen to Soray's side of the story, too? That's just what I'm about to do. You know full well the rules, Soray. How could you break them like this? I'm sorry, Gramps, but I couldn't just leave her there. Her kind is sure to bring nothing but trouble to our domain. But I'm her kind, too, you know. You were raised along with our kind, which nurtured in you the ability to perceive us and converse with us. Ah, uh, well, there you go. Normal humans have no such capacity. You should understand that more than anyone else. Well, it is true. She doesn't appear to have any resonance. Resonance. I'm an idiot. Gramps, <laughs> this is the first time Soray's ever met a fellow human. Perhaps. But if she can't see or hear the same things we do, she has no business in this realm. Uh. I have raised both of you as my own since you were but babes, all the while doing my best to protect this land. And for that, I am grateful. And I did that because the time draws near when you will both serve to protect this shrine, just as all the others have done. Our priority is the peace of Elysium. Any intruders, no matter how harmless, must be cast out. Yes. Then it's time she left. Can we at least give her time to prepare for her departure? Hmm. Just make it quick. Thank you. Gramps. I know, I know, McLeo. He means well, in all things. And that's the very reason why I'm so worried for him. Because he means well? Sure. You say so, Gramps. Smell you later. Alright, okay, let's go to the star, huh? 
Wait for her in your room. Yeah. I don't have a house, I have a room. Hey. The thing you stole, thanks, buddy. Hey, wow. Is this crest what I think it is? Yep. This is the mark of the shepherd. I knew it! The chosen one who communicates with the seraphim, controlling their incredible powers as if they were his own. The shepherd! <laughs> okay, if that doesn't make him obviously like the shepherd, kind of then. Maybe. I don't know what. I always thought that mankind's savior would actually look a bit more imposing. Be silent, seraph beast! I shall not. Hmm. Excavated relics aren't play toys. True. She certainly is taking her time. I'll see what's up. Where'd you take the glove off? I guess that would be true. This chick probably thinks this guy's the biggest weirdo because he can only see him. Oh, okay. And now I'm thinking back to the temple when Miklio ran up to her face and said, Boo. She didn't see him. So, they're like, oh, okay, definitely human. All right. Because that was kind of weird. Oh, wait. I mass missed the star. There she is. Enjoy yourself? I sure did. But it's did they not weird. see the houses either? I felt like I was being watched the whole time. Uh, uh. Shall we eat? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm going to faint. Let's head to my place. Okay, so she does see the houses. Gosh, I hope we didn't worry him. Hmm? Oh, uh, nothing. Welcome in. Then she sees the other houses, right? Hey. Hmm? So then, what's your hometown like? Well, I'm from the capital, Lady Lake, in the Kingdom of Highland. Lady Lake? Like in the Legend of the Sacred Blade? You've heard of it? It was in the Celestial Record. The legend says the Lady of the Lake guards the Sacred Blade, and the one who draws it becomes the Shepherd, right? Yes. It was a lively and bustling town, blessed with bountiful water, rich in festivals and fine drink. Wait. Was? Well, it used to be. Oh. Things must be hard for folks in the world below. Below? The land that lies beneath the mountaintops. I've never left home before. You've always lived here by yourself? Sounds to me like you're the one who's had it rough. <laughs> oh, let me help you get ready for your return trip tomorrow. You need anything? Bread, rations, stuff like that? That'd be great. If you have any tools or a sleeping bag, it'd be great, too. Gotcha. Well, then, first we'll need to do some hunting. I'll be your guide tomorrow. Thank you so much for everything. Good morning. Good morning. Come on! Hurry it up, Miklio. We ain't got time to mess around. Yeah, I'll leave in a moment. <sighs> Gramps gave me all kinds of things to take care of. I'm gonna be pretty swamped for a while. Bummer. Well, don't you worry about me, at least. So, Ray... Stayed in the house Gramps together, I guess. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nick Leo! Who's he talking to? She didn't say nothing. Maybe later. She's just like, this sure. guy's a freak. This guy's a freak, but you know what? I can't say none of you'll Good kill morning. me. You sleep okay? 
Yeah, like a log. Been ages since I've done that. All right then, shall we? The prickle boars lurk to the left of the entry gate. It's an ideal hunting place. Got it. All right, looks like me and her are gonna be hunting some prickle boars. Mm mm mm. Love me some prickle boars. This seems a bit more open world than uh, uh, Tales of Symphonia. I wonder if the rest of the game's like that. Or just kind of wander the map. In the Tales of Symphonia, it was just. They had an overworld, but it was obvious. Kind of like old RPGs where there was big icons for map, uh, for towns on the map. But it, there wasn't like wandering around stuff. There's a oh my. So that's one, huh? Their meat is easy to preserve when smoked and super tasty. And the skin has all kinds of uses too. I almost feel sorry for it. Wanna leave? <laughs> no, my spirit is prepared. Besides, I can't get this sort of experience. Do you back just want to get out of here then? Okay. Wanna leave? So I thought, now go kill this pig. <laughs> this music for this tiny pig. Oh! There's the multiplied. He's a Karibo. Hey, pretty smooth move. Thank you. You're rather capable yourself. He's getting wrecked. Have I truly been of use? Okay. Guess we need a few more. I don't see any around. You'll find them if you look. Hey, right, we're going prickle boar hunting. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Oh. Focus, Dang. guys. Let me finish it off. He's mine. That's that. No gold. I guess that makes sense. Prickle boars aren't going to be dropping gold for us. Here. Glowing plants always great. Uh, and where are these prickle boars? We're taking them down. Hello. Sneak and like get the advantage. Okay, he obviously doesn't see us. Oh, got him. What's the advantage give us exactly? <laughs> I don't know, but we wrecked that freaking prickle boar. To no chance. Ice pops. Yum. Guess we need more. Never enough prickle boars. Aha, uh -huh, we found another one. Let's sneak up on this one too. Hey buddy. Ooh, get wrecked. You know what's kind of weird? Because I think it's X to attack when on the 
over overworld like map walking around, but in battle, X is the guard. So you're pressing X to attack outside the battle, but in the battle that's the same button to guard. Let's kind of weird, let me see. Yeah, it is. That's weird. Weird design choice, in my opinion. Alright, so we're good. We killed every prickle boar in this entire field. Perfect. It's our friends who we love to milk. Delicious. I finished preparing the jet. Hey. How far is it to <laughs> Let's Just see. cut her off. I expect about two or three days. Really? I had no idea it was so close. But the forest at the base of the mountain is surprisingly easy to get lost in. Must be the power of Gramps' domain. Save it. Imagine it's much fun for the boars, but the circle of life goes on. Thank you for introducing me all these customs. I learned much accompanying you today. It is the capital of the kingdom of Hyrule. Really know nothing of my land. Then again, I too knew next to nothing of this place before I came, so perhaps we're much in the same boat. Alright, so. We hunted him. What, what were we supposed to do? Go back to the house? Sorry. I'm just gonna sleep in my armor. Saray? Oh, did I wake you? Sorry about that. You're sure into that book, aren't you? <laughs> I've read it <laughs> countless times reading. since my childhood. One day, I want to explore ruins all over the world. Random, but okay. Everyone who's read the Celestial Records says that, and I'm no exception. But sadly, now is not the time for some jaunt around the world. For several years now, the world has been plunged into a nigh incomprehensible state of chaos. Chaos? Mysterious illnesses, incessant storms, people bursting into flames. Oh my. There are those that say, even the dead have begun to walk the earth again. Whoa, hang on. What are you talking about? You don't believe me? Or you think this is a joke? The heck? No, Calm down, chick. I... <laughs> Please! The situation is beyond grave. Huh? The chaos has caused abnormal climate changes all over the world. As a result, we are on the verge of enduring widespread crop death, famine, and starvation. And worst of all, are the rumors of governments planning to replenish their dwindling resources through war. It mustn't come to that. Can nothing be done? Who knows? There's nothing to hang on to but legends. Which is why you... No, never mind. I won't ask. I think I'm gonna just hit the hay here myself. Sleep well. I don't know how comfortable armor is, but Good she morning. makes it work. Good morning. You ready to get to work? We gotta make those rations and bags from the prickle boars we hunted yesterday. You got it. <laughs> Afraid it isn't exactly super fun, though. Well, let me know when you're ready to start. I think I'm ready to start, but we're also at the end of this video, so we're going to do more uh, in the future. And we will go from there, alright? See you next video. Thank you, guys, as always.